Hi guys, I have 10 more cafe recommendations for you. Are you excited? Let's go! Cafe Yeonnam Dong 239. I've been to a lot of cafes and I have to say that this is probably one of the most creative and cute cafes that I've ever seen. I think it's one of my favorite cafes in Korea. The concept of the cafe is that you are walking into a real comic book and the owner slash artist does an amazing job of creating this experience. From the tables and chairs to the door handles leading to the bathroom to the trays and cups that your drinks and food are served on. When you go there, be sure to order the salted cheese latte. I know it sounds kind of weird, but it's such a unique flavor and it almost feels like a rich coffee dessert. I've had this at other places and nothing really compares to the one that Cafe Yonamdong serves up. MND Coffee. The theme of this cafe is a mid-century hotel. When you order your food, they'll give you a key on a vintage hotel keychain and when they call your number in Korean, so make sure you keep your ears open, you have to return the key in exchange for this gorgeous toast if you choose to order it. I don't know what to call this other than mermaid toast. So when you're ordering, you can choose between pink and blue, and it also comes with a slice of fresh fruit. It looks really simple, but it's actually just so tasty. And the coffee here is good as well. This cafe is in a really random area near Sukmyung Women's University, but it gets surprisingly busy around coffee hour, which is just after lunch. Deep Blue Lake. My husband found this little gem when we were looking for a cafe in Mangwondong. It's a three-story house that's been converted into a cafe. At some point, I'm gonna have to buy a bag of their coffee beans because it looks like they roast their own beans on site. In a way, it actually feels like someone's house with the first floor being the kitchen, the second floor being the dining and living areas, and the third floor being the kids' room. I ordered a flat white, which was on point, and the orange pound cake was really good too. My kids like this fresh strawberry orange juice that they served, and they had a blast playing with the trays that the coffee was served in. Hongdae D5. This is less of a cafe and more of a restaurant, but I had to include it because I mean, look at this ice cream pasta dish. There are two floors on this cafe. The second floor is where we chose to sit, and it's super pinky and girly and it has a real India Madhavi kind of look to it. There's a special spot dedicated for taking photos with a tripod set up for common use and it should fit like an iPhone. If you prefer a darker, more sophisticated atmosphere, then you can dine on the first floor which is very blue and sleek. The food was pretty good and the portions here were very generous. Banbossy Cupcake is on the second floor of a building near Sangsu Station. It's a quiet, chic little cafe on a small street in Hongdae, and I think they're known for making these pretty flower cupcakes. But if you want to just relax and feel fancy in a quiet cafe, then this is a great place to visit. I got a green juice to balance out the cupcake, and I thought the green juice was really good. It's a great place to take Instagram photos, and the outdoor terrace is a nice place to just lounge and have a deep conversation with your friends. Cafe Yam. This is located near the main Hongdae Street, and it's a cutesy, girly cafe that features really pretty, girly cakes. I'm talking about mermaid cake, unicorn cake, cookie monster drinks, and that kind of thing. They also have props, so you can wear a headband that matches your cake or your drink. And I went with my friend who also had a baby, and when someone came in, he was like, is this a kid's cafe? No, it's not a kid's cafe. It's actually really not kid-friendly at all, especially if you have a stroller because it's on the second floor of a building with no elevator, which is usually the case in Hongdae. I found the drinks and desserts to be super over-the-top sweet, so if you're looking for a sugar rush, then you might enjoy the desserts here. As for me, I just ordered them so I could take a cute photo. Flower Cafe Lovin' Her. This Hongdae Cafe serves up food and desserts on a tray that is decorated with small flower vases with fresh flowers. The cafe is decorated with various fresh and faux flowers and offers a few Instagrammable photo opportunities like this wall of flowers. And they also have flower crowns that you can use to adorn your head when you pose with a pretty drink. We ordered a nice spread and the croissant sandwich was not bad at all. Valentina loved her flower cupcake as well. And this cafe seems to cater to foreigners. I could tell that most of the customers here were not Korean and the owner also speaks English. 
Setu or Situ. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, but I discovered this cute set of Charlie Brown cookies on Instagram. And since I was in the area, I just decided to visit this cafe. But I had no idea that it was a speakeasy style cafe. So half the fun about these cafes is actually finding them, but we didn't really know that it was going to be like that. Um, we were the only ones here with kids, but isn't that always the case with my family? The girls and I loved how the carrot cake was served with these cute little mini shovels. And the Charlie Brown cookies were amazing. They were filled with some sort of green tea butter and bean paste combo that seems to be really popular in Korea lately. I like this cafe and I thought it was really fun, but my husband didn't like it at all. So this is probably more of a girls cafe. Sunny Angel Terrace. This cafe doubles as a Sunny Angel store and I went here because I wanted to buy a couple more Sunny Angel blind boxes. Not that I need any more. My daughter actually likes to remove the heads and leave them scattered all over the house. But I just wanted to visit the cafe because it seemed really interesting and cute. And it was very cute. It's very Instagrammable. There's a bright pink VW van right in front which makes for a great photo. And you can also buy special Sunny Angels figures that are only available in Korea. I ended up not getting anything here to eat or drink though because I didn't see anything that looked remarkable and I think that there are much better places where you can eat in home day. But I think that the shop is definitely worth visiting if you like Sunny Angels dolls, which I do, and it's very Instagrammable as well. Osolok 1979 Tea House. There are Osolok shops scattered throughout Seoul, but this one is special because it serves up an afternoon tea set. You can't get this at a regular Osolok store. This cafe is located in the Amore Pacific building near Yongsan Station, and the tea set for two was 40,000 Korean won, which is less than 20 US dollars per person. Compared to other afternoon tea sets that I've had, this is a great deal, and the tea had an Asian twist to it because it had various green tea flavor desserts and things. Um, but overall, it was just really delicious and absolutely worth it. Also Look is a tea company that's based in Jeju Island. It's kind of like the tea vana of Korea. And you can find a regular Also Look shop across the building if you want to pick up some green tea or have a shaved ice. Anyway, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you want to see more of these cafes in detail, I can do a dedicated video to a single cafe. And I probably will with some of the cafes that I really enjoyed. But if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more videos like this. I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Bye.